there's nervous times ahead as we are still top of the league but we've still got Boston snapping at our heels. Can we extend our lead at the top of the table with a win versus Nunny and Borough in today's episode of Walks to the Prem? Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 21 of the Kings Lynn Walks to Prem Save here on Football Manager 2020. And yep guys, today's game is against Nunny and Bala. They are struggling in the league, but we need to make sure we do a decent job on them today because every game could be a banana skin between now and the end of the season and we can't afford any slip-ups with Boston being so close behind us in the league. I'll show you the league table in just a second after we've been through the results of the games since the last video. But just before we do that, if you are enjoying the series so far, please do pop a thumbs up down below. It helps me out. It helps the channel out with the YouTube algorithm. Helps to say to YouTube, you're enjoying this series and that it's something that YouTube should promote to other people. So if you could do that, that would be amazing. Thank you so much if you do. And so now with that out of the way, Let's go and have a look and see how we've been getting on since the last video. And yep, in the last video, we played Boston United, our local rivals, in a Boxing Day derby. We beat them three goals to one. Very nice performance. We was all over them all game. One of my favourite performances we've had all through the whole series. Not only because that is the first time we've beaten Boston in the series and in the save. So that was an awesome, awesome result. I really enjoyed that. But what I didn't enjoy was having a game two days later. And I forgot to change any of the players out of the team. So we was all on like 80, 85% fitness. And so we was quite lucky to escape Solihull Moors with a point. But we did nothing game. Not much happened. I think they might have been tired as well from their game two days earlier. So yeah, decent result that considering the circumstances. But following on from that, we had a 3-2 defeat against FC United. They took the lead in the fourth minute through Belchior Papa. I think that's how you pronounce it. He gave them the lead in the fourth minute. Xavier Simmons equalised for us. And I thought, ah, oh, thank God for that. Normal service is going to resume because FC United are 19th in the league. So, yeah, I thought once we scored, we was going to score a few and get an easy win. But that was not to be. With Tom Powell putting them in the lead again in the 27th minute and then doubling their advantage in the 73rd. We did get one more back in the 83rd minute through David Mbala and we threw everything at them. We went all ultra attacking, long balls forward, try and get the ball over the defence, all that good stuff. But it didn't work, it was not to be and so we had a very disappointing result there. But since then, we have recovered and we've gone five games unbeaten, which is very nice to see. Starting off with another 0-0 draw, this time against Darlington. Poor performance, poor result. Would have wanted a little bit better. But as you can see from our match stats here, nobody really stood out all that much. In fact, our best performance was from Tyreek Wilson on a 7.2. So, yeah, that shows you what the game was like. We didn't really have too many attacking chances. But then we went three games, winning them all. First off, a 2-0 win against Brackley in a game that our board designated a family fun day. So, fans were able to bring their kids along for half the price. So, that was very, very nice. And it was good that we got a win. George Brown with the goal in the ninth minute. Adam Marriott in the 17th. So nice for all the kids that might, might have come along to see the top scorer getting a goal. And it was a very, 
very professional, thorough performance. We never looked in any danger of losing that game. And hopefully the fact that we won on the fan day will help us moving forward with attendances. And then after that, another game at home. 4-0 win this time against Stafford. Romain Mundell with our first two goals. Then Simmons with another goal. Chris Smith on the 80th minute finished the game up. 4-0 win. Very, very professional performance. How many goals is Simmons on now? Because he's been scoring quite a few lately. He's on 11 goals for the season from 41 appearances. Which from central midfield, I'm quite happy with. I think he could be a bit of a non-league Frank Lampard. Because most of his goals are from him running late into the box. Or in and around the box. And just lashing the ball home. So he could be a non-league Lampard. As much as I don't like Lampard, he was fairly decent at the football. And so, after that Stafford game, we had a 1-0 win. Very, very late goal against Spennymoor. Adam Marriott with it in the 83rd minute. The 4-4-1-1 wasn't working at all in this game. So we went to, went to our 4-4-2 towards the end. And that worked. That opened up their defence. And Adam Marriott gave us the win. And that was very nice to make it three wins on this spin. And I think at this point, we was like five points clear or something like that. But then we drew with Southport in the last game before today's video. And we was lucky to get a point out of this one. Tom Fielding coming off the bench to equalise for us in the 89th minute. After James Daly had given them the lead in the 68th, I really thought we was going to lose this. And if we had lost it, we'd be on level points, I believe, with Boston right now. So that would have made things even tighter than what they are. But this is how the league table is looking right now. I'll bring it up big. You can see there, only two points only two points are separating us and Boston. So if we lose today, and if Boston beat whoever they are playing today, uh, Kettering they've got. So we're both playing against teams that are struggling. So we should both be winning, you would think. But if either of us loses, it gives the other a bit of an advantage in the title race. So now let's go and have a look at the team for today's game versus Nunny and Borough. And this is the team not much changing from the last video. We've got Barnes in goal. Wilson, Wiggett, Smith and Richards are still the back four. Embala, Wright, Simmons, Brown are our midfield four. And then Mundell and Marriott make it a completely unchanged team from the last video. Hopefully that consistency can help us out today and we can get a win and get a very professional performance today away to Nuneaton Borough. The bookmakers do have us as quite heavy favourites for the game today with 4-7 to seven on as opposed to them being 4-1 to one to win the game. They've won two of their last five, losing two and drawing one. And we, of course, are unbeaten in our last five. Here we are in the dressing room, lads. Let's go passionate. We should be winning this one fairly comfortably. Let's see what reaction that gets. Absolutely none. There's a lot more to come from you. You've got what it takes. You've got what it takes. And you've got what it takes. And so, yet yeah, most of them are motivated. Most of them are happy. So, let's go and kick the game off. And what prediction do I want? You know what? I'm feeling really, really confident for this. 4-0 I'm going for. 4-0 to the Kingsland, boys. Let's bring it on. Come on, you Linnets. First highlight of the game. 10 minutes in. Mbala with a free kick. Mundell with the header. And he just nodded it down easily for Kearney to pick up. And he's still got the ball here. He goes high and long with the ball. And that goes straight to their man, Sawyer. And can we win it back off him? Nope. Goes to Mars. They're keeping the ball nicely here. Sawyer again. They've got two players called Sawyer. That's mad. And now he goes out wide. 
He crosses it in, and it's a header there for Glean, and that has just gone over the bar, and we survive for the minute. 20 minutes in now, Nani and Bara again coming forward. Mateti wide to Saya, and right for us, clears the ball, and Marriott has it. Has he got someone alongside him to help him out? Does he even need it? He, he, might, he might not do, actually. Marriott is into the box. Can he cross it? He, nope, he goes back to right. To Mbala. To Marriott again. He's got a man out wide here. Riot. Mbala. Mbala with a shot and 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil to the Kingsland boys. Mbala with his 11th goal of the season. And that was a very nicely worked team goal there. A lot of passing to make the space. And once Mbala did have a little bit of space, he was never going to miss that. A beautifully rocketed goal into the bottom corner. Immediately following that, it's another highlight for Nani and Bala. Or do we get it back? We do. And Marriott cannot win the ball there. And now Nani and Bala do have it. Glean with the ball long. Wiggett kicks the ball long again. It's all a little bit scrappy at the minute. Weston's in behind our defence. He shoots and they've equalised. Oh my gosh. Tony Weston with his 20th goal of the season. Might have to have a look at him for next season when we get promoted. Oh my days. What a goal this was. Two goals in the space of a minute. Weston with a great goal there. Our keeper had no chance of stopping that. 24 minutes gone. All the highlights here today. Wicket with the header. And that's his second of the season. We are 2-1 up. And all the goals here today, people. Oh my gosh. End to end stuff. Mbala with the free kick. Wicket got there first. Their keeper was caught in two minds. Whether to come for it or not. He made the wrong decision. And we took the lead. And now Weston, with the ball, tries to cross it in, hits our man, and they get it back. Matete, with the ball, into Simon. And they go wide again. Glean nods it back. Wright tries to go long, but Marriott cannot get onto that. And now Embala's just giving it away to Minkley, to Glean. They've crossed it in, and easy enough for Barnes to catch this time. And now the highlight's still going on. Simon's, with the ball, into Brown. To Richard out wide. He goes back to the middle to Smith. Who goes over the top. Mundell is in. Mundell is in. Can he make it free? Yes he does. 3-1. 3-1. 3-1. To the Kingsland boys. And I'm going all ghostly here. Let me sort that out. Because we don't want to ghost bad jokes do we? That is not good. And that, oh, that will do. That's a little bit better, isn't it, people? Now, just getting to the half-hour mark, we've got the ball again. Right, goes all the way back to our keeper, Barnes. Plays it nicely to Wiggett there. He goes out wide to our left-hand side, to Wilson. Can he find a teammate? He tries to. He's gone long there. He's given it away to Sayer. And now, oh, they're in behind. They're in behind here. Weston with it. And, oh, it's hit the post and gone out. One more highlight just before half-time. Smith heads it off Nunny and Bowers' pass. Goes to George Brown. And can George Brown get past his defender here? No, he can't. But he goes to right. Back to Brown. And Brown back again to right. Someone needs to make a run here. Mundell has. He's in space. Can he make it four? He can. It's 4-1 at half-time. Might even be another one before half-time. For all I know. But this is the sort of performance you need when you're champions. We are exerting our authority on this league. Mundell with the ball there, taking it down nicely. His first shot was saved, but he was never going to miss that open goal for his 16th of the season. And wow! That's the end of a mental first half. I really have enjoyed that first half. We have played very, very well. We've had seven shots with six on target. Two of their six shots with just the one on target. Only 51% of possession, though. 
We're not dominating possession like how we have been in most games. But we're making up for it with the most important statistic. The one above for the goals. And now let's see. How are Boston getting on? Are they playing today? Don't think they are. So if we just change that, that means that at the moment we are... What, five points clear, but they've got a game in hand. So, at least we'll be putting some pressure on them. So, that's very good to see. Let's go team talk. Let's go passionate. I'm very pleased. Keep it going, lads. And now, what prediction do I want? Seven. I want seven. That's what I want. Seven one, I'm going to say now. Two minutes into the second half, Wilson throws the ball forward to Mbala. And he does a nice back heel there to the main man, Marriott. And can Marriott get the ball into the box? He's crossed it into the centre, but they've headed it away. And they win it back, but we get it. We get it off them now. Mbala to Wilson. And that's gone to absolutely nobody. It's all very, very scrappy. Nobody keeping the ball too much. Mundell is in behind his defender here. He's in behind. Can he make it five? He does. Romain Mundell has his 17th of the season. And that is his hat trick. What a game for the youngster. He has absolutely bossed this. How many goals do we think he can get now by the end of the game? If he can get a, if he can get a fourth, that would be amazing. 10 minutes into the second half now. Barnes with the ball to Richards. To Barnes. He goes wide to Wilson. And now is he going to get the ball forward to Mbala? Or is he going to run it himself? Nope, he passes it to Mbala. And Mbala's going to cut inside. He plays it in. Marriott's in. Could this be our sixth? Oh! Ho, ho. Of all the people to miss today, you wouldn't think it would be Marriott. 65 minutes gone, Borough with the corner ball, goes to Weston and it's headed over and out. Okay, just about 20 minutes left, neither Adam Marriott or George Brown have done a whole lot today. So we're taking both of them off, Tom Fielding's coming on for Adam Marriott and the youngster Fitchett is coming on for George Brown just to keep them both fit for future games. Oh, one more highlight just before the end of the game. Simmons with the ball goes to Richards. Can he find a teammate? He crosses it in and then Bala tries to get onto it but is unable to. And now it's Myring on the counter for Nuneaton Borough going over the halfway line. He's into our box here. This could be a very nice goal if he gets it but he doesn't. He levers it wide. And there we are. That is the full time whistle. 5-1 to the Kingsley boys. I said before the game we needed a professional performance. A professional performance we have had. 5-1 victory. 10 shots with 7 on target. To their 16 with 4 on target. Only 51% of the ball. But we made it count. And so now we've got a 5 point gap over Boston. But they do have a game in hand. And let's go passionate. I'm very pleased with the result and your performance. And now let's go and have a look and see where we'll be coming back for the next video tomorrow. Alright guys, we're going to come back for the Gloucester game in the next video tomorrow. Should be a decent game. And then after that, the video after is going to be the Chester and Murphy Tidville double header in the last two games of the season. If we haven't won the league by then. If it looks like we're going to win the league before then, then obviously we'll come back for whatever game will be the league decider. But I'm thinking it could be them. And if it is Murphy Tidfield at home, what a story that would be. Because obviously we beat Murphy in real life to get promoted into this league somewhat 10, 12 years ago. And so if we can beat them again, but this time at home to get into the National League, that would be quite awesome. So I'm really hoping that's how it pans out. And so, yep, guys, that's where we're going to leave it for today. 
If you've enjoyed that video, please pop a mahoosive thumbs up down below. Like I said at the beginning, every like really does help the channel out. And as well as that, if you're new around here, smash the hell out of that subscriber button. As of recording this, we're on 544 subs. If we could make 550, I said yesterday, by the end of Christmas, I think we can do it this week. If we could do it by the end of the week, that would be awesome. So please do, if you're new, smash that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And as well as that, check out the Passion for FM Discord, the Twitter page, the website, the Facebook. All the details down below, people. Go check it out. Go have a look for all that good stuff, especially the website. There's some awesome resources and downloads and guides and all that good stuff on the website. So please do check it out. And yep, guys, I think that's just about everything for episode 21. I shall see you for the game against Gloucester in episode 22. Bye.